Hey, Chris Matthew here from Skynet. So we've had Splunk connected to Skynet so that every transaction that flies through the Skynet uh, Internet of Things platform uh, gets logged to Splunk. And as of a couple of weeks ago, we added Elasticsearch. And uh, I'm playing with Kibana uh, from Elasticsearch, the dashboard. And it's pretty interesting. So I wanted to kind of give you an, an idea what things look like. So I've got it set to auto refresh, and uh, you can see all of the uh, the traffic uh, on on Skynet, you know, by by uh, by time. And then if you look down here, we can see by event code. So you know, in the GitHub repo, you can see what all these event codes are, like uh, the 100 and 101 are like authentication events, 300s are like messaging, and uh, you can see what what type of you know volume or, or uh, uh, type of transaction uh, each of these event codes are making up and then down below are all of the uh, events uh, that meet the query so this is kind of cool so if we say um, out of only like a uh, drone you know for instance um, it what it will do is it should pull in that there are you know like 12 was 100 and 118,000 uh, transactions related to drones. Uh, you can go through and, and query, you know, each one of these uh, to get the whole object of, of the drone. And then you can look at just the events. So, like, it, it would break the time down for just uh, drone activity on Skynet, which is all pretty interesting. So, um, if I just start throwing some more traffic at it, I've got a little uh, NPM test where I can just throw a bunch of uh, traffic at uh, the web sockets. Um, we can come back in here and look at uh, all all activity, and now you can just sit here and have it refresh, you know, every five seconds, and then you can just literally just watch the uh, the counts uh, progress here. Pretty cool though, uh, able to to just query any type of data instantly off Elasticsearch using uh, Kibana. So um, one of the things we're working towards is having a, a, this multi-tenant uh, capable. So uh, stay tuned.